Knoxville to downtown to check out an air conditioner. It's been a little warmer here lately. It's uh, been up in the 60s all week and we're actually gonna get up in the 70s tomorrow and uh, through the weekend, it's Friday. Um, really nice weather. So yeah, I had to go this morning and clear a, um, clear a drain line for a grease trap. And uh, I'll put up a little video of what that looked like so you can check it out. We're uh, about an hour out. Um, I'm gonna try and get a get a video of this one. So stay tuned and uh, hope everybody's hope everybody's doing all right and getting ready for the Super Bowl. And um, stay tuned and we'll we'll bring you back when we get on site. So this is the condenser. It's a train. Um, like I said earlier, it's in the 60s today, and it has been all week. Um, this is just a straight air gas furnace, uh, and it doesn't have any fan cycling, any low ambient protection. So what I'm thinking is that it just uh, ran too long and maybe froze up um, or went off on low pressure or something. So. I'm gonna put a, just one of these little bullet style fan cycling switches on. I'm gonna have to use a, one of these access T swivel tees on the high side port. I don't love doing it like that, but it's gonna have to work. So I'll put that on there, install my switch, and then I'll break power to the condenser fan motor. I'll pull it off of the contactor and wire it in series with the fan, with the uh, fan cycle and switch. So it's really easy to do. Just gonna take the switch. Take that little plug out. These do come with core depressors. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a valve core in this just in case we have to change it out. I don't have to go through recovering all the gas. They don't usually come with one in both sides. They'll have one in one side and it's usually unscrewed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in this side too since this does have a core depressor down in there. Tighten this one in. And go ahead and install one down in here. we go now I know some guys like to put a little nylog on these I'm actually out of nylog so I'm just gonna have to uh, just gonna have to roll with it Just simply gonna thread it on and get it tightened down. All right, there we go. Now this. This will go on there like that. And I'm gonna try to situate it to where 
my pressure port is facing out in case I need to check pressures or anybody does in the future. So you have to be kind of quick when you're doing this because it likes to spew refrigerant out. So we got to screw that thing on as quickly as possible so we don't lose a bunch of gas. You're going to lose some. It's, it's inevitable, but you try to work quickly. There we go. All right. Make sure nothing's rubbing. Like I said, this is not my favorite way to do this. I prefer to have a dedicated port that's soldered in so I don't have any mechanical connections, especially on the high side. They have a tendency to leak. It's 410A, it's high pressure. So, you know, if we have a leak this summer, I'll know exactly where to uh, look. But anyway, I'm gonna route these wires up through this this knockout right here. I'm gonna take that plug out and uh, and route my wiring up through there. See if we can find where the. Uh, I hope I've got enough length on that. I may have to go get some wire. All right. Let's see here on the wire diagram. Right, the, the diagram is showing the outdoor fan motor right here. It's a brown wire, purple wire, black wire. What I want to do is I want to break power to this black wire. It's showing here that it's tied to T2 terminal on the contactor. So we're going to go find the black wire going to the fan motor on terminal T2 or T2 terminal 2. We'll have to make sure we have the right one because we also have the leg of the compressor on that same terminal that is a black wire as well. So let's check it out. So if we're looking here, we've got terminal side is going to be on the top and the line side is on the bottom. This is our incoming power right here. So we know that that wire is going to be on the top side. and. If you look, you've got some larger gauge wire here. I'm assuming that's for the compressor. And this one here is going to be for my fan motor. So you can see it's the same gauge as the smaller ones going to the capacitor. So I can look in here. Well, no, I can't because I've got it in that conduit, but I know that I know that's the right one. So we're gonna pull it off. Now what I'm going to do is I got to take those wires and cut splice here and put a Wago or a wire nut and then I got to run that wire back up to T2 on the contactor. But I am going to have to go get some wire. I don't have enough. Bummer. That's kind of a it's kind of a long trek down there. I had to come up several flights of stairs. That's the thing about these old, hundred-year-old buildings, man. It's it's always something. I might have some wires. Sometimes I keep a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to get lucky today. Nope. Okay. Well, stay tuned. I'll be right back with some wires. All right got some wire extension on there I use these cool little Wago butt connectors if you guys haven't tried these man you need to they're seriously kick-ass I love them um, we'll see how they hold up long long term I haven't been using them that long I don't think they've been out that long at least not this style but I like them uh, I wish I had a way to protect the wires coming through there I really wish I had something. Um, 
that little bushing that came in it didn't have a hole in it. I guess I could poke a hole in it. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll try to poke a hole down in that thing really quick. Well, I tried to poke a hole in it. The thing just broke apart. It just busted apart. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. Can't. It is what it is. Um. All right. Pressure switch is in place. So if I installed this thing correctly, we should have. When I energize this thing, the compressor should should turn on, but the fan motor should stay off until the pressure raises high enough. So let's let's see what happens. All right, compressor's on. Fan motor is remaining off. Let's see if we can feel our liquid line warming up. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. Should be getting a fan here any second. There we go. Now what that's doing is that's cycling on uh, that's cycling on liquid line head pressure. Um, it's actually cycling on liquid line pressure right now because we're on the liquid line, which is correct for a band cycling switch um, but yeah it's a 400 cut out or I'm sorry 400 cut in 300 cut out so that should be good to get them through the winter anyways I'm gonna clean this junk up put the panel back on and uh, that's a wrap for this one thanks for watching the video